Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you uh, my code to visualize a vector field. So let's at the beginning just uh, explain what I mean by a vector field. Now, uh, if you have some kind of a field you're studying, either mechanical, uh, electrical field, gravitational field, whatever, you want to express this field uh, mathematically. So you basically uh, say at each point in your space of study, in the space you study, you need at each point to specify the x uh, and y component of the vector you are specifying in your field. Okay, this uh, x and y component of your vector can be a function also in the position, which means they are a function in x and y. So can become quite complicated to visualize that. Okay, so this program help you to visualize it, help you to get uh, a real simulation of the motion of the particles inside this field. Now, let's uh, show you, so maybe we can see by example how it works. Okay, so here as you can see, uh, this is the interface of the program, it's a GUI. So the first thing you need to say is the vector equation, you need to express the x and the y uh, expression and I will show you now uh, some example we will just uh, hit some numbers and see see how it works but uh, before that I want to uh, tell you that this program can be very useful for uh, many problems so what happens here is that you can take this program and maybe change it a little bit by getting this x and y expression I will put it now uh, as it is because this is a general uh, program you can use in, in any field but if you want it to be in a specific problem let's say an electric field uh, the field between the blades of a capacitor uh, something on a nanoscale or electric field on a nanoscale something like that and you can get this x and y component of your vector by solving the differential equation the maximal equation whatever differential equations that uh, govern your field so let's say it's a mechanical field let's say it's a flow of fluid right you have a fluid flowing inside a tube something like that let's say that this is like inside the tube and the tube is like that and you have a, a flow of of, uh, of uh, liquid inside it so you have the Navier-Stokes equation the differential equation you solve and you get the x and y component so actually getting this x and y component is is like a pre-step to this program which of course you can get by solving the differential equation regarding your uh, your uh, problem but then after you get this you can use this algorithm you can use this software um, even it's a GUI you can use it and uh, get a visualization of your, uh, your your simulation let's say of your field okay so let's uh, try some examples let's say that I have a constant x x component let's say negative 10 so it is a negative direction and 10 uh, is the units of okay and uh, let's say that I have a y component that it changes by the y let's make it 10 times times y okay something like that maybe so the y component of the vector changes by the position Okay, now you get the size of the field, so let's make it from negative 5 to 5, from negative 5 to 5, this is just the, the extent of the study, the field study, okay, where you have, of course, the origin at the middle of the field. Okay, now what is the position to investigate? That um, This simulates the behavior of a particle inside this field. So if we are talking about an electric field, you put an electron, let's say, or a charged particle in this electric field, you want to know how it will behave, how it will uh, move inside this field, how a ball will fall inside a gravitational field, how a fluid or a particle of fluid move inside this pressure field of the fluid, okay? So this is the point. You start by a position and then you get a simulation for the motion of this position even by the direction and the right speed actually. So, so let's try this. Let's say uh, 5, okay? Uh, I don't know, 0.01, something like that. Okay, then you hit visualize. Okay, so that's very good. Here you have the point, okay, the start of the point, the particle. Here's this red 
the uh, curve is the curve that the particle will move in and what you see here is what is called in mathematics a slope field or in physics you can see it as a vector field this is a field that shows how particles move inside uh, this this field okay let's see how you animate motion well here you can see it. you can see the particle moving inside your vector field by actually a real simulation now but this is um, this is quite slow right let's let's make it faster how can we do this let's say that we increase the the velocity let's say this is 100 and this is 100 okay so now it should be faster right okay so let's try this here you see the same figure and here you see it's faster because you increase the value of the x and y components of your uh, uh, vector right is a velocity let's say so that's good uh, let's try another another uh, example to show you what do I mean by this symmetry correction if we have something like this let's say this is negative y so the x component depends on your position y and uh, the expression the y component depends on your position x so something like that this is a very known it should get this is a very known this is uh, equation that governs uh, actually the uh, well yeah the tornado okay some simplif simplified figure of the how the tornado works but anyway it should give you circles so here you go okay let's uh, take a position that's not not on the field, let's take it at 1 1 maybe. Okay, because this is so far away. So, here you see this is circles as, as we can think of it. And now, what happens is that because of the symmetry, the algorithm has uh, a problem with dealing with this symmetry, so it does this. Now, you can simply apply some symmetry correction, okay, and then you hit visualize because it is a symmetric field so you should when you know that there is a symmetric field you should apply the symmetry correction so you know that the particle is moving um, in circles okay so let's see a final example let's say this is y and you can say uh, squared okay and uh, let's say that this is negative x something like that okay now let's start from another point i don't know let's make it negative 2 and uh, I don't know, negative two or something like that. Okay, but not applies that symmetry. And and here you go. There's some some field you can see. Uh, hit and make motion, and you can see that it it, uh, it moves like this. Now you can pause it. You can continue. You can do whatever you want, and you actually can see the particle decelerating and accelerating by the simulation of this field so you can see that at the stop it decelerated then and you can see that at the end it accelerates so this is a very good simulation for this now let's say that we wanted to move in the other direction okay so let's check this out let's make the y the negative one and this hit the negative so we can say that it, it, it should be the same but moves in the other direction so well yeah this happens it moved in the other direction because we reverse the direction so you can use this actually as a very good visualizer for uh, any of the fields I talked to you about uh, okay hope you like this and uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel also uh, if you want the code you will find it in the description okay thank you for watching